Yo, what's going on, guys? It's Dwayne the Rock Johnson here, back with another hair dye tutorial. Well, after that monstrosity of an intro, today I bring you a uh, new new video of a Halloween candy tier list. After not making any original content for just about a month, I did this because uh, people were arguing about it on the group chat yesterday, so I decided to settle the debate once and for all. Plus, it's October 30th. Halloween is tomorrow. So, perfect timing. Halloween candy tier list. Let's begin. Pause. It's not... It's not it wasn't pausing there. I don't know why, but yeah. Anyway, be my webcam is in the hold up. Ah, uh, yes, much better. First up, we got normal, just classic M&Ms. This is a good one to start with. By the way, the order of these candies is completely randomized. I spent like 10 hours just like sorting them. That's a lie. I spent like three minutes, but you know, yeah. Uh, anyway, M&Ms. Starting off with a good one, okay? M&Ms, they're, cla they're a classic candy. They're pretty much just tiny little specks of chocolate. And al although, you know, it's good. Shut up. Oh my god. What do you want? Oh, Jesus. So yes, M&M's is a classic Halloween candy. And although it's not a candy bar, which is what most Halloween candies is, it's still a chocolate flavored candy treat. The taste is really good. However, it lacks originality, okay? M&M's is pretty much just milk chocolate. Nothing else. And for that, I'm going to demote it into B tier. It would have gone in A had it been more original, but it's not. So B. Next up, we got peanut M&M's. I don't like peanut M&M's as much as I like normal. I know some people like peanut more. Most people don't, but some people do. I sound really congested, probably because I am congested, but, you know, peanut M&M's. I'm going to one tier down from uh, normal M&M's, so they go into C tier. Next up, you got Starburst. <laughs> Sorry, I'm dying. Oh, wow, I can't talk. I've got a cup of water. Ah, there we go. Okay, gonna ignore that. Moving on, we got Starburst, as I previous as I previously said. Now, Starburst are really good candy, just in general. Like Starburst are really good. However, they have a few non-taste issues. First of all, the packaging. It's really hard to get the paper off of the Starburst. You're probably gonna end up eating the wrapper. So for that, down one tier from A to B because it would have gone an A. And also, on top of that, it just doesn't really seem like a Halloween candy. It just seems like it either has to be, like, chocolate or in the shape of a bar. So, for Halloween candy tier list, it would go in C. For normal candy, it would either go in A or B. I don't know. But for this tier list, it goes in C. Next up, you got Butterfinger. I feel like this doesn't get enough attention, you know? Butterfinger is a really good candy bar. I just really like the taste of it, even though the texture's a bit weird. I just really like the taste. It's a classic Halloween candy because it's a chocolate bar. So chocolate and bar. That's kind of perfect. But the Butterfinger, I just had a seizure. Why is it? Okay, whatever. Butterfinger, solid B tier. Dum Dums, no. It's just not a Halloween candy. I mean, it's good, but it's not nearly as good as most other candies on this list. And it's also not really a Halloween candy, and I don't even, I'm not even really sure why I put it on here. So I'm sorry, but these deserve a D tier rating. It just has to be done. I'm sorry. Whoppers, they break your teeth, okay? They look like really tiny coconuts for some reason. I, I, I've always just thought of them as, like, really small coconuts. And, eat, like, the taste is good. Like, the good intent. That's what it is. Good intent. But no. Just it's it's just there's too many things that are just like weird about it like it's in a shape of like a sphere I, I don't know so whoppers deserve c tier kit kat very very solid candy okay the only reason it's not an s tier is because there are other things that are better than it that deserve s tier but you know it's a it's a really good candy so solid a tier for kit kat Next up, you got the most underappreciated candy on planet Earth, Airheads S tier. Look, no, Airheads are so underrated. They're one of the best candies just in existence. Eat an Airhead right now, you will see. If you do not like Airheads, there will be hell to pay. Twizzlers are cringe. They deserve D tier. That's no explanation needed. Jolly Rancher is also one of the most underappreciated, except it's not as underappreciated because it's already appreciated. But still, Jolly Rancher's S tier candy. Look, like, just if you're bored and you want to have something, and, and I have, like, a thing of Jolly Ranchers in my junk thing, drawer, desk, looking weird thing, bleh, right here, I'm probably going to eat, like, ten in the span of three minutes, okay? I just inhale Jolly Ranchers with the passion of a thousand suns. That made no logical sense, but okay. 
Jesus, we're getting a lot of S-tiers in a row here. All right, Twix, another S-tier. The best chocolate candy bar given out on Halloween. Better than Snickers, better than Kit Kat, better than Hershey's, better than Almond Joy 3 Musket, all pretty much all of them. Yeah, really, all of these. It's the best candy bar. Twix, it's, it's just, it's just, it's just built different. Next up, we got normal Hershey's. Come on, it's, this is like M&M's, but in chocolate bar form. So it's just like, the, it's the most unoriginal thing ever. And yes, I know it's Hershey's, you know, Hershey's is the original. But still, that's what this is for. That's what cookies and cream is for. That's where the good Hershey's comes in, right? So, yep, we're, we're getting, we're getting way too many S tiers. I might have to, you know, revise these ratings. But still, Hershey's cookies and cream. I don't know if it counts as a chocolate bar because, I mean, it's white chocolate. Does that count? Yeah, I mean, yeah, obviously it does. I take back what I said about Twix. Hershey's Cookies and Cream is better than Twix. And that's really saying something. Hershey's Cookies and Cream is just, it's insane. It's so good. I just, I I, I can't get enough about how good it is. It's, 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 I don't know, I don't know. Sweet Tarts, nobody really likes Sweet Tarts. They deserve a D tier. Oh, no, that's not D. Yeah, there we go. D tier. Snickers. Hmm, I'm debating between B and A for Snickers because it's a really, it's a really good candy bar. But, you know, is it on the level with Kit Kat or Butterfinger? And I think I'm going to go with Butterfinger. I'm probably going to change that later because I'm going to make revisions at the end. But still, Snickers, a very solid candy bar. Solid B tier for, uh, what's it called? Snick for, well, I just had a seizure. Solid B tier for Snickers. Now, time for the controversy to start. Or, you know, really start. Uh, Haribo Gold Bears. I, I just, what, I just said, what did I just, Haribo Gold Bears. No, okay? They, they're just like fruit snacks, but worse. I mean, I like fruit snacks, so I guess I like these. But just compared to all the other things, it cannot compete. It deserves D tier. Look, it's just not good compared to everything else. It's just, I don't get what's, why it's so hyped up. It's just gummy bears. It's like fruit snacks, but I've said that. Oh, okay, you know what? End of discussion. D tier. I will not be convinced otherwise. Next up, you got Almond Joy. I actually kind of like the taste of coconut, but not as much as I like the taste of Butterfingers, M&M, and Snickers. So I think it's an even C tier for Almond Joy. Next up, very possibly the most underappreciated candy bar on Halloween, you know, tier list. Three Musketeers. Very high A tier. Okay, these things are delicious. Like, they're they're really they're really good. Okay, I don't know what I don't know what else to say. They're just really underrated and a very very good Halloween candy. Milk Duds. This is a classic candy that if your dad were to go to Harris Teeter or whatever your nearest grocery store is right now and buy Halloween candy for himself, he would probably get Milk Duds for some reason. I don't know why Milk Duds are like they're not even good. Like they're seizure. Why does every white dad like Milk Duds? I don't. But yeah, in my opinion, they're overrated. I probably would put them in B. No, that's a lie. I would not put them in B. They're, they're an even C tier. Reese's, S tier. Look, Reese's is just... It's just, okay? Reese's is just... I don't know. I don't know. What was I going to say? Oh, I, I need to make a script for this video. But yes, Reese's is just elite, okay? It's just... I might, after this, I might rate all my S tiers in order of how I like them. But I don't know if I'm done with S tier yet. I might be, I don't know, who knows. But yes, at the end, stay tuned, unless I forget, which I probably will, for rating S tiers. But yes, Reese's is an S tier candy. And I was going to put Reese's peanut butter flavored, but even though I haven't had it, I feel like it's really just Reese's with food coloring. And I feel like there's no difference, like, it, it, because, the, like, it's, it's the same color as the inside, like, the outside is just, like, golden. And so I feel like that's no difference at all. But, you know, whatever. Getting off topic there. But anyway, 100 grand, solid candy bar. It's pretty underrated in my opinion. Uh, most people would probably put... No, I don't... Most people would probably put it in C, maybe even... No, they wouldn't put it in D, unless they're stupid. But yes, 100 grand is a solid B-tier candy bar. Just the texture, it's like so like... You know like those popcorn ceilings? That's what it looks like on 100 grand, okay? It's like the texture is good. <laughs> oh, God. I just laugh because this next one shouldn't even be on this list. It's here for one reason and one reason only. Okay? So when we were coming back from a uh, thing, you know, w for school, uh, me and uh, my friend Brian, right, were going to get lunch because they let everyone out for like an hour and a half to just get lunch and then come back to the bus later. So we uh, went to 7-Eleven to get like, I don't even know. I, got, I think I got like probably Twix. Uh, no, I got Charlie Ranchers there. I'm not even joking. I actually got them there. But... We also 
we were, we were looking through the candy aisle, and uh, I saw a bueno. See, look, if you can't read that, it says bueno. And I kind of just said, ha, bueno. And then Brian was just like, ha, bueno. And I don't know. It just kind of evolved into a uh, bueno. Why did I tell that story? Nobody cares about it. But yeah, surprisingly, he bought it just for the memes. It was actually better than I thought it'd be. It's like a peanut buttery, like in tiny little things. You can break it apart really easily. So this, honestly, I'm going to give it an A tier. And it's not just because of the meme. It's like actually a really good candy bar. I was surprised by how good it was. Also, uh, Brian, uh, Quattro Buenos. He's probably going to tell a story in the comments about Quattro Buenos. By the way, you may have noticed that F tier is empty. That's reserved for one thing that you probably already know what it is. But if you don't, uh, I don't know what you're doing. Mm -mm -mm. I don't know that one. Okay, next up, you got Fun Dip. Huh, Brian's also probably going to tell you the story of Fun Dip in the comments. But, uh... I gotta be honest, I would rate it S for the memes, but I'm gonna be honest, it's really just sugar, food coloring, and also a stick that's made of sugar and food coloring. It's not really anything special. They just took sugar, put it in a package, and call it a candy. So, uh, it gets C tier because it's not bad, but it's not good either. So, yeah, I think Funded deserves a C tier rate. <sighs> Everyone's just gonna kill me for this. I, I put I put everyone else puts fun dip in S tier just because for the memes. But I'm real here, okay? I put fun dip in C tier, okay? Okay. Next up you got Milky Way. Again, I feel like this is an underappreciated candy bar. When I was talking about it in the group chat yesterday, it, oh god, my battery's about to run. I gotta go get my charger. BRB, hold up. Alright, it's been like three minutes. I just got my charger and a drink of water, and I'm back. Okay, Milky Way. As I was saying, underappreciated candy bar. Mm, I'm debating whether to put it in A or B because it definitely deserves one of these and just because of the satisfaction factor the fact that B has one more than A This would make it even so that's what I'm gonna do uh, Milky Way a tier candy bar. It's a very solid candy bar It's underrated everyone in the group chat was calling it like a C tier and I'm like what do you it's at least a B like what okay anyway Tootsie Rolls no thanks. They get stuck in your teeth, and you're probably going to find it like four years later. Be like, oh, here's that Tootsie Roll in 2018. Like, no one, no, 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 no. Candy corn, similarly to Fun Dip, is pretty much just uh, sugar and food coloring. Except this is in the powder form, and this is in the solid form. It's pretty much the same thing, so I'm going to put it in C tier. Uh, but yeah, it's kind of weird to compare Fun Dip with candy corn. But you know, whatever. And here is where everyone's gonna kill me. Sour Patch. Oh boy. What Sour Patch is, is pretty much just... I don't even know what I was gonna say. Hold on. It's pretty much just the sour fruit snacks you buy in like... The, like, like you can buy Welch's Sour Fruit Snacks and Sour Patch. Give me one of each and I would not be able to tell the difference. That's what it is. That's not a Halloween candy. That's not a chocolate candy. It's not even really that good. So Sour Patch, it goes in D tier. I'm sorry, it's just a fact. I will not be convinced otherwise. Sour Patch, I don't know why it's so hyped up. It's just not good, okay? I mean, it's good. I would eat it. But it's not nearly as good as anything above it. Like, when I have to rate Milk Duds above Sour Patch, you know something's wrong. I don't know. It's just, it's just I don't see the appeal for it, you know? Ah, yes, here's where we finally fill in all the tiers. F tier, Hershey's Kiss, easy. Nobody likes Hershey's Kiss. Well, I mean, they do. It's it's just, it's the most unoriginal thing anyone has ever made. Also, no one ever really gives them out for Halloween, so that's a thing. But another thing, Hershey's Kiss, it's just a raindrop-shaped blob of chocolate. That's how I described it in the group chat yesterday, and everyone agreed with me. You see, it's just, it's chocolate. Nothing else. Like, there's no inspiration similar to this thing over here, except this is in a bar form, so it's actually good. This, I don't know why they decided to add a point. Like, the point just makes it worse. You have to, like, lick the top of the point to make it smooth before you even put it in your mouth. That kind of sucks. It's just not... Why? Why does it just keep making candy bars, Hershey's? Why do you have to make a Hershey's kit? Just no, okay? So it goes in F tier, okay? It's, I'm sorry, it, it just, it's just a fact. Uh, I've, I've got an order for this whole video, but I just really want to get one out of the way now. No one, no, no, I'm, I'm really ashamed that I have to put Halloween pretzels in the same tier as Hershey's Kisses, but it must be done. First of all, they're pretzels. Second of all, they're pretzels. Third of all, no one gives out pretzels for Halloween. Fourth of all, specifically these pretzels, like even, even four pretzels, they're not good. 
Like the Halloween pretzels in particular seem to be specifically designed to not have any salt. It's just hardened dough, nothing else. It's like even for if, if in a pretzels tier list, Halloween pretzels would get an F tier. That's how bad Halloween pretzels are. Can I make a new tier? Hold up, wait. Okay, apparently I can't make a new tier because this website is stupid. But this would go an F minus for Halloween candy. Why would you hand out pretzels for Halloween? Like, what logical reason would you have to hand out pretzels? Like, you can buy candy for the same price. Like, is it for the health? Oh, yeah, because no one else is going to hand out, you know, candy for Halloween. So you just got to do your part by handing out pretzels. Okay, I'm, I've been ranting about this for way too long. I'm going to stop. Next up is Skittles. Skittles is a very solid candy. And in, in a tier list of candies in general, Skittles would go in A tier. However, I did That's not A. However, I just feel like Skittles isn't that really good of a Halloween candy. It's, uh, it's not chocolate and it's not in bar form. So even though it's really good and is commonly given out, I feel like it's not traditional Halloween candy. So Skittles deserves a B tier instead of an A tier. Next up, you got one of, not, not the most, but one of one of the most underappreciated candy bars, Crunch. Solid A tier. I don't know what it is that makes rice and chocolate so good. But Crunch is really good. It's a very solid candy bar, and I just it's 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 it, it, it's good. Next up, you got Ring Pops. No one really likes Ring Pops. I don't really know why they exist in the first place. Like, what company makes Ring Pops? They taste good, but like I've never really eaten a Ring Pop off my finger. That's the only reason they exist, right? To put it on your finger. I just like hold them like this, and then I eat it like that. Like, there's that. And there's also the fact that there's a thing in the middle, so if you bite into it, you're going to break your teeth on it, and so that kind of sucks. So you can't really do anything with it, so it deserves a D tier, and plus, it's just not really Halloween traditional candy. So, yeah. And here's where, oh, my voice sounds very congested. I think I remember I said earlier I was going to put one thing in F tier. I lied. It's actually three. Uh, Black Twizzlers isn't quite on a level as low as Halloween pretzels, but it's pretty close. Okay, I may or may not have ever really had Black Twizzlers, but based on the community rankings, Black Twizzlers is apparently very bad, okay? So it deserves S tier. I mean, at, wow, no, it does not deserve S tier. It deserves F tier. I don't know why I said that, but yeah. No, and we only have two left now, yeah. I see Heath Bar as more of a ice cream topping than a candy bar. And the ice cream topping is really good, okay? Heath Bar goes in A tier. I've never really even had the bar. I just use it as a topping for my ice cream, and it's very good, okay? So it deserves a solid A tier rating. And last but not least, I mean, it's not really good, but not last but not least, ba what is, that? is it Babe Ruth or Baby Ruth? I can't read. What does that say? Baby. Okay, it says Baby Ruth. Baby Ruth, uh, I haven't really, I don't even really remember what it tastes like. But for the only reason is uh, the satisfaction factor so that A and B can be equal. I'm just going to go ahead and give it the benefit of the doubt and say it's a decent candy bar. Okay, Babe Ruth, Baby Ruth is a B-tier candy bar even though I may or may not even know what it tastes like. Now, let's do some revisions and the S-tier ratings. Well, after those five, there was none left. Wow, okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to move one thing from C-tier to D-tier. And that one thing is going to be candy corn. No, it's not. It's going to be Milk Duds. I don't... It's just... It's Milk Duds, okay? And now the dreaded... I gotta move one thing from D tier to F tier. What's that going to be? Hmm. I gotta decide. Don't kill me. But it's got to be Haribo Gold Bears. Nobody likes Haribo Gold Bears except Psychopaths. All of you are Psychopaths. I will not be convinced otherwise. Haribo Gold Bears are bad. Okay, it's just true. They're, they're fruit snacks, but worse. It's, it's, it's just a fact. I'm going to rate my S tier rankings now, now that I'm done with the list. At number five, we got Twix. Twix is the worst out of these. It's still a very, very good candy because it's an S tier, but it's the worst out of these. At number four, I'm going to have to go with Jolly Ranchers, okay? Uh, it's it's better than Twix, but it's not as good as the other three. Number two, Number three... Number three, I gotta go with Reese's. Okay, Reese's is in the middle of the pack in the S tier. Number two is Airheads, and the best candy of all time is Hershey's Cookies and Cream. It's just unmatched. It's built different. It's the best candy ever made. Okay, 
You, you heard it here first. I just decided that like 10 seconds ago. Hershey's Cookies and Cream, best candy of all time. I will not be convinced otherwise unless I will be, which I won't. So um, there you go. There's my Halloween candy tier list, I guess. You know what? It's just unsatisfying, I just decided. What I was going to do earlier, I'm going to do now. Candy corn deserves a D tier. It's just sugar, okay? And I'm not saying that's a bad thing. Even, but, you know. Wait, 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 hold up. Just wait, hold up. Yeah, so now i got to move two things from D tier to F tier to even it out and have one less on S, which is fine because very few things deserve an S tier rating, and these things definitely do. So what thing, what two things should I move from D to F? First things first, Twizzlers. Just no, okay? They're not, no one really hands them out for Halloween. It's just no. And second, I've decided, I hate to do this, but sweet tarts, I'm sorry. I I really hate to do it to you, but you know, sweet tarts is not a good can. It's just not good. It's just solid, you know, circles of sugar, pretty much. Similarly to uh, candy corn and fun dip, except worse apparently because it's an S and the others are in D and C. But yes, I'm actually done now. Okay, and there, uh, yep, okay, that's it. I'm done. That's my Halloween candy tier list. I hope you did not enjoy this video. I, I, okay, I, I don't know if that was anywhere that. Well, there you go. You heard it here first. I'm done with my Halloween candy tier list. I hope you did not. I, I'm saying the exact same thing I said last. Make sure to not subscribe to my channel because my channel sucks. It's an F to your YouTube channel. Okay, oh, that's a good idea. YouTube channel's tier list. Anyway, uh, you heard it. Oh my God. Thanks for watching, I guess. And uh, bye.